This guy over here is called the Ornimegalonyx, or the Cuban Giant Owl. It is a species of extinct owl that was found on the island of Cuba in the late Pleistocene. It likely went extinct around 11,700 years ago, in a similar timeline to when a lot of other Pleistocene animals also went extinct. It is considered to be the largest owl to have ever lived that we've discovered thus far, standing at just over 1 meter tall, or around 3 foot 7 inches. For context, the largest owl that exists currently is the Eurasian Eagle Owl, which stands at around three quarters of a meter tall, or around two and a half feet tall. So this extinct giant Cuban owl was around a foot taller than the largest current owl that we know of. As far as I'm aware, thus far we only have bone fragments and haven't found a complete fossilized skeleton, but there has been reconstructions based off of the bones found. They were most likely flightless or mostly flightless. I saw them described as being similar to wild turkeys as of right now, where they potentially were capable of flight, but only really did so in extremely stressful or necessary situations, and most of the time they spent on the ground. The current hypothesis is that they most closely resemble modern burrowing owls and most likely shared similar traits with modern burrowing owls being largely ground-dwelling and possibly living in burrows, and not flying all that often. Their diet likely included large rodents that were found on the island, as well as potentially scavenging things like the giant ground sloths. Since they didn't really fly, they were probably more likely ambush predators that would sneak up on their prey as much as they could, and then kind of run or swoop-ish in to go catch them, instead of flying and then dropping down like most modern owls do.